Um, I like the extreme American bullies. I really do. We but represent the extreme American bully. I would have. I I I didn't see like four extreme American bullies that um that that look like they fit pocket standard. You know what I mean? Like how many people? I mean, because I made this video before, but I just want to know how many people really saw that. Saw the extreme bully fit in pocket standard. How many people saw that? I mean, it's it's like a a couple inches off, I should say. The dog is a couple inches off. Like the males are supposed to be uh, 17 to 20 inches. And in some cases, we have seen 14 inch males. We have seen that. How many people have saw that? Please feel free to answer the question because a lot of things have to be repeated. Because maybe you just, you know, sometimes they didn't get it the first time. You know, I mean, a lot of people throw out videos. But some things just have to be repeated. And I'm re-asking this question. How many people really continue to see 14-inch dogs as extremes? Like they extreme, but they wasn't fitting the standard to some some degree. You know what I mean? In, in the areas that they were in, you know. Another thing, I, you know, I'll be tripping on. Well, they wasn't fitting well, the standard they, by some of them was a little too small. Some of them were a little bit too small. I they were a little bit too small. Hold on guys, I got somebody talking to me too. Look under the TV. Give her 3. Excuse me, I have to get my family what they want. My dogs are outside barking at them. And then, and then we're going to resume program. Get the dogs under control for me, please. That's, that's my fault. Had a little unexpected company at the house, but we're going to keep you rolling. Uh, fit the standard, right? Dogs, that's just not fitting the standard. Males, we got to really speak uh, on that. The male extremes are supposed to be like, from what they, the standard said, 17 to 20 inches. That's what the standard the said. The extreme is supposed to be 17 to 20 inches. 17 to 20 inches for males on the extreme. The female extreme dog, you know, is um, like an inch shorter. You know, she's supposed to be 16 through 19 inches. Some of the dogs really aren't that. Some of the dogs, now if they're a little bit bigger, that's fine. I mean, you are extreme. But if they just smaller dogs all the way up under the, the, the standard, like a 14-inch dog, under the standard, but the dog is a nice dog. Should this dog be able to still lead the breed? Should it still be able to lead that one particular category of extreme? And, and it's smaller. It's three inches smaller or four inches smaller than what the standard says. Should he still be able to lead and be the face of the extreme? The female. Extreme dog is supposed to be 16 through 19 inches. You know, that's what the, the standard dog, says 16 through 19. It's supposed to be 17 to 20 inches. And they'll say a lot about a classic dog. It's like a, a classic dog, you know, doesn't represent bully to the max. Yes, it do. I mean, it's a it's a terrier dog. It is a terrier dog, so it has to represent bully to the max. Now, when you get that adding stuff to it, 
Well, it can't compete with something that you didn't add it. If you didn't went and added a barbell, or you didn't went and added a mastiff, or you didn't went and added a bulldog, then your your uh, classic dog isn't going to be able to compete with something like that. But it will be able to compete with normal standard, which is normal standard for a staffy or a pit. It probably wouldn't even be able to compete with a, one of them little staffy bulls, miniature Staffordshire Terriers. It probably wouldn't be able, a, a classic dog probably wouldn't be able to compete with that. But it will, it will still be the same height it's supposed to be. It will still be the same height. It probably just won't be as cute. It will never be four inches shorter. Under the standard, you know, if a pit bull was four inches shorter under the standard, somebody would hurry up and say something about that. If a ruffian or a Ryan dog was four inches under the standard, somebody going to scream about that. A few extreme dogs out right now that like Trapzilla. Trapzilla is 14 inches. He's 14 inches from the withers. He really is. China Boy would be the same. I like those dogs. Let's not get it twitted. Love them to death. Let's not get it twitted. I like those dogs. But the new dogs, because I, I keep calling them new dogs, they have a standard, but some of them seem like they don't go against They, they don't go with the standard. They go against it. You know, um, is that true? Is it is it some people going against the standard? Can somebody in the American bully world please answer that? Is it okay to sometimes go against the standard? Because y'all know you see some of the things that I be talking about. I ain't the one walking the dog up in there. I'm not the one walking the dog. You know, and, and you know, I can't really just sit sit around and clown nobody, dog. That's what I won't do. But if I sit here and I see a dog... That just don't fit the standard. I'm going to have to say. I'm a, You know what? I'm going to speak on it real quick. And it's not good to throw a lot of people names out there. It's not good to throw a lot of dogs names out there. And sometimes I just want to speak on specific dogs. Because this is a hot dog. But the dog ain't reaching the standard. A 14-inch dog is a very small dog, you know. Yeah, he's that, small. That right there, you can't even call that extreme. He's small. You can't call no 14-inch dog extreme. He almost bulldog size. No, nope. I don't even see how that could be, you know. He a bulldog. Like, how can you call a 14-inch dog or a 13-inch dog extreme? That's a bulldog, ain't it? Because they're packing on like 85 to 100. 110, 120 pounds. Is that a bulldog? Would that be a bulldog? Did I just describe a bulldog? I described it before. But everybody know how to describe a bulldog. We like these bully dogs, man. We like these bullies. But let's really talk about the fucking dog that we see right now. Let's just talk about that damn dog. You looking at the dog. He's short. He can't breathe. He got this round head. He look exactly like an English bulldog, but you'll sit there and say he not. Man. Well, he is a big dog. He big as hell. At 85 to 110 pounds. That's a big old dog. 20 pounds and he only 13 or 14. Can you imagine feeding him? You got to feed him a lot. Ground. You can say from the withers. You can say what you want from the ground. That dog is consuming a lot of food. That, I mean, a 13-inch dog weighing, you know, weighing at 95 pounds. He has to feel dog. unhealthy in some shape, form, or fashion. Would you think a 13-inch dog carrying a lot of mass don't feel like in some shape, form, or fashion he's unhealthy? It hurts him somewhere along the lines? His, his legs and arms are hurting. He got to carry this stuff. He got to carry this mask. 
Yeah, that got to hurt in some shape, form, or fashion. And then at 95 pounds. 95-pound dog? That's too much weight on a little bitty dog. It's too much weight. You know, um... What is too much dog, weight on a little dog? 11. What is too much weight on a little bitty dog? I'm asking this to the bully world, too. How much weight is too much weight on a 13 or a 14 inch dog? How much weight is too much weight on a 16 and 19 inch dog? How much weight is too much weight to even be extreme? That's a real good question for the American bully world. How much weight is too much weight to even be extreme. That's right there. See, I want to know that right there too. Because some of them just ain't, ain't making a standard. But they look very, very beautiful. And then they carrying on this uh, bulldog feature. You want to know why? Because that's just what it is. What you seeing is what you get. And they're 20 pounds. And they are bigger than that. They are bigger than that. Pocket dogs are bigger than 11 to 20 pounds. You know, they are bigger than 11 to 20 pounds. A pocket dog is, um, yeah, it's got to be bigger. You know yeah, it's bigger it's than 11. Like, 11, uh, 11 man, inches, man. Dog, that's an extreme. Or in between 14 and 16 inches from the ground. And he's a male. In between 14 and 16 inches from the ground. And... He barely he reaching the standard at 16 inches. That's hella heavy for a little bitty dog. Really heavy. Get a measuring tape, man, and measure 13 to 14 inches from the ground. And then you put 100 pounds on that. That is weight. And then, you know what I'm saying? You put in third. You putting a hundred pounds on thirteen inches. That's weight. Your dog has to be struggling in some shape, form, or fashion for you to be carrying a hundred pounds on thirteen inches. Your belly, your belly is barely off the ground. Some of them be having like twenty-eight inch necks, thirty-inch necks, right? But the neck is barely off the shoulders. Barely off the shoulders. That means his head is right there on his shoulders. You ever heard the term head and shoulders? <laughs> his head is right there on his shoulders because some of the dogs don't got no necks. Now they got to breed new necks onto the dog because some of the dogs don't got no necks and some of them are so they become stiff man look at the dogs they you know a, a lot of people still be looking for that dax look you know what i mean because dax had them nice shoulders well a lot of the extreme dogs don't even got shoulders they just got a nice little neck and they and they and they walk you know they they're starting to get like a little stiff from being so big Things that have been said you know I mean? a long time ago that has like to be repeated. Being so big. But we want to see think, from then till now, thing, has anything you know really mean? changed with the new dogs? That's just my thing. I don't think a dog should be that big if he that small, you know. But who am I to tell you, you know, what to let, do? Um, um, <clears throat> the classic, the standard, and the extreme when it comes to males are 17 to 20 inches from the ground. That's the standard. That's the standard. 17 to 20 inches from the ground. That's just about for all the all the classes when it comes to the males. Not every single one of them, but all the classes when it comes to the males. You know, I mean, that's basically a bully. 17, 20 inches. 19 inches. You want a dog that be 13 inches? That's a bulldog. That is a bulldog. But they don't reach that. They don't. Some of these males are barely even 15 inches from the ground. And the standard says you're supposed to be 17 to 20 inches 
from the ground. <laughs> so what's going but they on? They reach that. They really don't. They're not now, reaching I'm not with the standards. Like it. You know, I, I mean, in some shape, forms, or fashion, I can see that being unhealthy to that dog. Is it unhealthy? Play. Is it unhealthy? Because now we know that your dog can't really run, like, play for a very long time. His airwaves, you know, it's kind of congested in there. Kind of kind of a little bit pressed together. He's not getting in the good air that he would usually get if he was a ruffian dog or if he was Ryan or if he was Staffordshire or if he was Pitbull. He's not getting that kind of air with the, with the nice big slits in the nostrils. I like them little dogs too. Don't think I don't. I, I like shorter bullies. I like pocket style bullies. But we all like healthy dogs. So if your dog is under the standard, and we and d that's displaying traits outside the breed. And the owner say you ain't supposed to be <laughs> displaying traits outside the outside the breed, man. For real. He said the the owner of the building, man, he said you ain't supposed to be doing that, dog. He can't play. He's too big to be. He's too small to be so big. You know, he's just. Man, he's it's too small to be so big. He's too. I mean, as long as they big with mass and they athletic, you can't say nothing about it. But when they big with mass and they just can't move, it make you want to do a double take and look at that again. You got to see he's too small to be so big. You know, it, it, his agility, he ain't going to be able to move, right? And, I mean, walking might not be a thing. But some of them dogs... And when you see probably, some of the dogs, like when you look at some of the dog shows and you look at some of the bigger type bullies... You always see the handler in front of the dog because they got to get a dog's a little tug to pull them along. You know, it won't just grace the floor and just take off, you know, and you got to dang near tug him to pull him backwards to come here. No, these dogs, you got to pull them forward a little bit. Watch, go look at some of the uh, dog shows because I don't own an extreme myself. I don't own an extreme myself. I want everybody to know that. I don't own no extreme. I, I'm not at home right now taking care of no extreme. I've owned dogs that were big. Uh, I mean, if they were extreme, I didn't know. But you know what? Looking at a dog, I can tell you that something is wrong. You, gotta, you go to a dog show, and you in the front of this dog, and you pulling it. Just giving him a little tug to come on. And then when he started walking, he got this massive great body with these little chicken legs. And if they do got these big muscular arms, it's kind of hard for him to move them. I like the dogs. I very much like the dogs, but I'm just looking at the transformation in the dogs in my eyes. That's all in my eyes. And I can see how they transform. A lot of them look healthy. Trust me, a lot of them look healthy. A lot of them dogs look healthy, man. They look beautiful. They look beautiful. I like extreme dogs. I, I do. Like dogs. I didn't say I didn't I like them. Like look at that dog, too. You know, your standard says that extreme dog is supposed to be 17 to 20 inches from the ground. They're not reaching that. They're 14 inches from the ground. So why is it not safe to talk they are about 14 it? 14 inches from the ground. And what, why is it not safe to talk about to be it? 17 to 20 inches from the ground. They not I mean, you, know you see saying? some of they're them that are that. 14 and 15 inches. They're not that. They're they're um yeah, man, they're not that. They're not some that. of them may I even like be them. you know, I just you know, 14 you know, to 16 like, inches. Why? And is it is it okay to go against the standard even if the dog looks nice? Now, if you got a pretty, pretty dog, dog can you just go against, the standard? go against the standard? Because you if you got a real pretty dog, and you know he's just pretty, he's prettier than everybody else's dog. This dog is very much put together, but he's just 
small. He too small. He don't fit the standard, but he, he look better than everybody else, dog, dog. He's just clean. Is it okay to break the rules or just bend it? Do anybody else see that? The, ru the rules sometimes got bent. Are you not supposed to say nothing? You know, he's going to be the next face of, uh, uh, of this particular new movement of bullies that's coming in because these are brand new dogs. You know, these are new dogs. And you have to become accustomed to these like, new what's dogs. The classes? The first four classes, I think, was a uh, classic. You come a long way from Sandy, a classic dog. Pocket. You know. Standard. You've come standard, a long classic, way. Classic, pocket, and XL. Standard, classic, pocket, and XL were the first four classes, right? <clears throat> now we've, we've made room for another class called the extreme. So you got to write up new, new rules for this extreme, you know, 17. I'm pretty sure that you've seen more dogs a long time ago that were extremed already in your program. And you know what I'm saying? Some of the extreme dogs that you probably came across in your program a long time ago were more put together than the extreme dogs that you see of today. Were more put together than the extreme dogs you see today. So you have to ask yourself, what were you doing back then that you ain't doing now? Because when you try to follow a trend and you start breeding to their dogs, you're going to get what they have. You're going to get what, you, you know, if you breed to your next next door neighbor dog and you go against your own trend, you're going to get what your neighbor got. But a lot of y'all don't know what your neighbor got. You just know he has a nice looking dog. Now, those nice looking dogs, that's basically when you see the paper say single register because you don't really want to. Show was behind that dog, man. He, I mean, a dog with a bulldog face. <laughs> you can pretty much say was behind. You already know. 16 to 19 inches from the ground for females. They don't reach that. They don't reach that. And why? So males are, are in between 13 and 14 inches from the ground. How many people know... Nice dogs, nice looking bullies that's just killing the game. But at the same time, he is 13 to 14 inches from the ground. He killing the game, but he's still 13 to 14 inches from that ground. And that's not the standard. 16 to 19 